Hello everyone, welcome to the WB Carousel Pro plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a video gallery. Make sure that WP Carousel Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on add new or you can click all carousels and then click add new to create a new carousel and give it a title. Below that you'll find the option to select a source type from several options. I'm selecting video as I'm going to create a video gallery. By clicking add video, you can create as many videos as you like. I will show you the process of adding a video shortly. Before that I would like to say I have already created a few video gallery shortcuts for you. I will explain the rest of the video from there. Go to all carousels and navigate to video gallery. You can see I have already given the title and select the source type as video. And also I have added a few videos. Now let me show you the process of adding a video. Click add video. And here you can upload videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion and self-hosted sources. You just need to simply put the ID here. Let me show you how you can get the video ID and put it here. So go to youtube.com. Suppose you want to include this video. So click on it. Navigate to the video URL and double click to select the video ID. Copy it from here. You can also get the ID by clicking share and then just copy the ID from here. Now go back to the shortcut and put the ID here. And the video will be automatically added. If you want to add video title and description, you can write it here. Similarly, you can upload videos from Vimeo and Dailymotions. The process is pretty same. If you want to include a self-hosted video, then you need to upload the video in your media and upload a custom thumbnail for the video. So let's upload a video. So this one is the uploaded video in my media. Select it and upload an image for the video thumbnail. So this is how you can upload a self-hosted video. You can order the items by doing drag and drop like this. If you want to duplicate any item, then simply click on the duplicate icon. And if you want to remove any item, then simply click on the cross icon. Select layout type as gallery from the general settings. Click show preview to see the video gallery in action. So this is the video gallery. When you click on a video, the video will play in a light box. You can also select a layout mode from event or machinery. Now scroll down at the bottom of the page to find the pagination related properties. Here you can enable or disable the pagination, change the load mode button level, set how many items you want to show per page or per click. By default 12 items show per pagination. Set the pagination alignment and color from here. Now let's publish the shortcode. In my case it is showing update because I have already published it. To keep the changes you need to update it. And go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode using the WP Carousel Pro Gutenberg block. Select the shortcode and you will get a preview of it. Now publish the page and view it. So this is how the video gallery display in the web pages. I hope you have got a clear idea of creating a video gallery. In the next video, I will come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.